In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this traffic light status dashboard design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have put one traffic light. When I click, the traffic light comes here. You can add the title and then I've added six months. And here you can add uh, five different tasks or you can increase or decrease depending on your requirement. And you can see here the red means the task not yet started or not done orange means is in progress and green means task done so for each task you can assign what is the status of the task okay you can see here you can put for the task two three four five and so and so forth and one more slide i have created where i've just put the traffic light the signal comes from the top okay so depending on the requirement you can choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university Please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019. However with the older version also it's possible to do. So let's start the tutorial. I add a new slide and I'm going to insert one table or then go to insert tables and I'm going to choose how many rows I need and how many columns I need so I am going to take one two three four five six columns and one two three four five six rows okay you can see here something like this and then I'm just going to select this part and you can go to the layout and you can increase the width because this is the where I'm just going to uh, add my uh, the task description here so it should be uh, more all right you can see here and for this also you can select and if you want to increase you can increase also all right so let me just put it like this again if you want to further increase i'm going to select this one and increase the task okay all right and then i'm going to increase the height also i'm just going to select the table and i'm going to increase it like this all right now the next thing is i'm just going to give some different color options so i'm going to select the full table go to the table design remove the banded rows and header rows and then i'm just going to select this part okay from here only this part and then i'm going to give some uh, blue color here you can see here any color of your choice and here also I'm going to give the same blue color and in this one I can make it a uh, white color or very light color and then I can give some border color so I'm just going to select any light borders and I'm going to click this border here you can see here this border so I end up getting a something like this and again for this I'm going to make it no fill so it looks like this again depending on your requirement you can increase the size and you can see here the the outer boundary is not uh, come so i'm just going to make it all borders here okay so it looks something like this now once this is done i'm going to select this particular part you have to go to the layout and then select the this one which is the center vertical you can see here and then come to the home and you can select the center here as well and whichever font i'm going to choose a white font and if you want to make it bold you can keep it now here i'm going to type in capitals month one you can see here month two like this you can do it month three tab then month four and month five now again if you want to add one more column what you need to do you have to just select right mouse click and you can see here there's something called insert here and if you want the column on the right or left you can add it from here also all right and then again i'm going to select this option also make it bold again white center align or you can keep it left align itself go to the layout and put it in the center okay then here comes the task task name one okay task name like this you can just add the different task names task name four and task name five again if you want to add some columns again you need to select this one insert 
and you can select the columns okay you can see here to the left or to the right okay so whichever way you can do or here in this case is not a columns it's a row insert row below or insert row above so once this is done what we need to do is we need to put the traffic light signal here so first of all go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle select the rounded corner rectangle exactly in the center and you can see the small orange point just drag this inside okay make sure it is properly aligned shape outline i can make it no outline shape fill i can give any dark color here all right so let me just zoom in and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the traffic lights here the red orange and green so let me just go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape all right maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give a red color first and if you want to give some glossy effect what you need to do is go to insert again shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape like this all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white then right mouse click go to format shape and here you have to go to the effects and you can see there's something called soft edges increase the soft edges here all right again if you want you can increase the size a little bit and you can go to the effects oh, sorry the fills and increase the transparency also somewhat okay so this way it will give you a glossy effect so i'm just going to select both of these and press ctrl g to group it hold the ctrl shift key add the remaining three lights so this one i'm going to change it to orange and this one i'm going to change it to green all right so it looks something like this so once this is done, I can simply select all this, press Ctrl G to group it and hold the Ctrl Shift key and just drag one by one here like this. You can see here. Later on, you can just align it properly. So before we copy below, let's align it properly. All right. And then I'm going to select this again. Hold the Ctrl Shift key. I'm going to put it down again down you can see here one by one you need to hold the control shift key and just drag this all right now we have copied again it's up to you how to align it properly and then for example task name say red is the task not yet uh, done orange means the task is in progress and green means task done so that particular uh, legend you can add it at the bottom also something like this where i did like this you can see here task not done in progress or this one so let me just go here now for example i want the task still not yet started so i'm just going to select this one orange or it's better to select all these shapes right mouse click group and ungroup this okay so now i'm just going to delete this orange and green here the task is completed i'm just going to keep it the green here still is in progress i'm just going to select this one so likewise you can just delete the not required one and keep only the required one so like this you can just simply delete it okay one by one just select and delete okay you can see here and here it's completed likewise whatever you want you can just simply keep it here and if you want to add something here so i'm just going to select this part Control d to duplicate Control g to group it bring it here rotate it sorry rotate it you can see here i can rotate right 90 degrees if you want you can increase the size by holding the shift key and you can keep it like this also here okay and then you can just connect it with the help of one shape so i'm just going to select one rectangle give the same color sorry no outline 
and shape fill you can give the same color press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to rotate it left 90 degrees and i'm going to put it here okay so you can see here this way you can just create your simple uh, traffic light uh, dashboard in powerpoint